spaghetti squash two ways. I'm gonna show you some great keto recipes from my friend, Laura Lee. Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and today's video is a sponsored video from my beautiful friend, Laura Lee, over at Laura Lee Balanced. I'm gonna have a link to her website down in the description box below, and she's got some great recipes there. She's a holistic chef. I hope you guys will check her out, but I've got two simple recipes that are keto, healthy. I even share one vegan version for you, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So with that said, let's go ahead with the first recipe, which is garlic Alfredo spaghetti squash. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is roast your spaghetti squash. I've sliced them in half, there's two here. And you can see on the back how I've poked holes in them as well, so they are well vented. Uh, you can use a fork, I've used my large knife, but you wanna go ahead and cut them in half and put them on a large pan to roast. You also wanna scrape out the seeds. Now, I just took a spoon and scraped them out of the three halves, and this is how you'll do it. Very simple, you just wanna get it completely clean like this one. And then you're gonna take a little olive oil, and I put a little too much olive oil there, <laughs> and I'm actually gonna kinda spread it around and pour it in these other halves that are already cleaned out. But you wanna just wipe it on the inside, all on the edges, and even a little bit on the outside as well. It'll just help it uh, roast a little bit better. So I'm doing it with one hand while I film. Don't judge me, people. But anyway, once you get that done, go ahead and flip it over onto your pan, and it will be ready to roast. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my halves of my spaghetti squash into my oven. And I've already got it preheated. And they're actually gonna go in at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. And there they are beautifully roasted. Just a little bit brown on the top, but perfect for our recipe. So let's get started with the first one, garlic Alfredo. The ingredients that you need are really simple. Salt and pepper, probably just a pinch of each one clove of garlic, minced. Then you'll need half a cup of stock or broth, uh, either one as long as it doesn't have sugar in it, two tablespoons of butter, about a quarter of a box of cream cheese, one bag of Parmesan, and half a cup of heavy whipping cream. You could also use half and half. And frankly, if you want, you could even use coconut milk. You know, I'm gonna tell you how you can make it vegan because I think that a lot of you might be interested in that as well. And so if I were going to make this as a vegan, what I would do is change the stock. First of all, you wanna make sure you're gonna use a vegan one. And it's even more important here that you double check that it doesn't have sugar. Butter, of course, you would use Earth Balance or another vegan butter. I highly recommend Kite Hill cream cheese. It's excellent and I think it would go great for this recipe. Um, in terms of the vegan shreds, you can use any kind of vegan shreds that bring you joy and make you happy. But uh, of course, any kind of Parmesan or mozzarella flavor would be great. And again, instead of the heavy whipping cream, you could use um, coconut milk or coconut cream. That's all you need to make this vegan. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pan and we're going to melt our butter and put in our minced garlic. I'm gonna add my sprinkle of salt and pepper on top as well, and that way it's already seasoned. And I'm just gonna stir that up and let that uh, minced garlic brown a little bit. And I'm gonna take my half cup of broth and pour my half cup of cream right into that so I can pour them in at the same time. Just makes things a little more simple. So once this browns, we're gonna go ahead and add the other ingredients. I'm gonna start with that cream and broth mix that I already mentioned to you that I mixed up. And then we're gonna add our cheese on top of that. And then you wanna add your little bit of cream cheese as well and you're going to stir all of that up until it's nice and smooth. And while you wait for that to smooth out, this is a great time because your spaghetti squash is cooled, to go ahead and get those shreds separated. So I'm just gonna scrape around the edge of our spaghetti squash just to make sure I can get everything out all at once. And then once I get the big chunks out, then I will take my fork and break them up. And that's just how I like to do it. I mean, a lot of people do it different ways, but I just think that's the quickest and easiest way to do it. Again, just taking it and scraping it around the edge. And then as I do so, I really try not to break the outside of the spaghetti squash because I'm gonna use it when I'm done with this Alfredo. It's so quick. There it is, look how beautiful those shreds are. 
All right, so our Alfredo, we're just kind of waiting for this sauce to thicken up. And once it's kind of thick and creamy, we're gonna go ahead and add those spaghetti squash shreds. And that's one half. And there we're gonna add the other half. And we're gonna stir them to incorporate them. It is so, so yummy. Let me tell you, you're gonna love how this smells. I wish you could smell it right now. So once you get it completely incorporated, you could just serve it in a bowl or on a plate, but I like to put it right back into my spaghetti squash um, itself, and I just think it looks really pretty to serve it that way. You'll see I've sprinkled some Parmesan on top and even a little bit of basil just for, for looks. So there is my garlic Alfredo. So before we go into our second recipe, which is hidden veggie spaghetti pie, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about Laura Lee and the recipes that she has available on her batch cooking meal plans. You guys, she makes these batch cooking meal plans that have the recipes and the shopping lists and the step-by-step -step instructions and the pictures and everything that you need to make several recipes all at once that you can feel confident about, that they're healthy, and you can make them frugal for your family to make sure you're gonna meet all of their needs even if you're really busy and you're concerned about making sure that you're having good healthy food. To access her meal plans and her community is only $9.99 a month and that includes all of the meal plans every month plus all of the previous meal plans that she's done in the past. So you can have multiple volumes that you can make for every month. There's plenty there right now that you can make several months in advance and just be totally set. You also have access to her Facebook group. And my very favorite thing that you have access to is she does once a month workshops that are live. So you can actually like talk with her and she makes a recipe and she'll answer your questions and you can just spend some time with her every single month. And I don't know about you, if you've ever priced a class with a chef, <laughs> but it's a whole lot more than $9.99 a month. I'm telling you right now, I really think the workshop in and of itself is worth way more than the price for the membership all by itself. It's a, it's a really great deal. But she also has it so that you can actually get her meal plans at a discount if you buy the annual plan. So if you pay for it for one whole year at a time, you actually get two months for free. And with the discount that I'm going to give you access to down in the description box below, you get an additional 25% off. So you're getting a really, really great deal, especially for everything that you get access to for that price. I mean, it's really an amazing bargain in my opinion. In addition to that, Laura Lee has even made it so that you can have one month for free. So if you're interested in giving it a try, go to the links in the description box below and I have the code down there that you'll need if you wanna take advantage of that 25% off annual discount and everything that you need to make sure that you get in on these batch cooking meal plans. Again, they're simple, they're healthy, they're quick, which for me is a real bonus. And I think you guys are really gonna love them. So check them out and I'm also gonna link you to Laura Lee's Instagram and Facebook. You can definitely follow her on both of those places and she shares lots of great information on both of those places as well. And have I mentioned she's a cat lover? Because she is. And I love that about her. So anyway, we're gonna go on to the second recipe now, which is hidden veggie spaghetti pie. And I think you'll see that it comes together just as quickly as the garlic Alfredo. Here we go. Okay, it's time to make our hidden veggie spaghetti pie. And I just wanna tell you, you wanna make sure it's already roasted and shredded uh, before you get started with your recipe that's your spaghetti squash. And so once that is done, you're gonna go ahead and get your ingredients together. The first thing you'll need is 25 ounces of marinara or pasta sauce. I like to do one of each just for flavor, if that's my particular preference. And then you're gonna to wanna to do a quarter of a cup of ketchup a bag of cauliflower rice, just like this one. And then you're going to wanna to go ahead and get your seasonings together. You want a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. So it's really easy to remember the amounts that you need of each. You want your bag of pepperoni. I personally like to use turkey pepperoni and you're just gonna use half of this bag, but have it prepared. And a bag of mozzarella cheese. You can use an eight by eight pan and make sure you have a little aluminum foil as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my pasta sauce into my bowl 
and I'm also going to put in my salt and pepper and garlic powder just to get all the seasonings together and I'm gonna grab my ketchup and my cauliflower rice some cheese and even a little of the pepperoni make sure you save some cheese and pepperoni to put on top and we're gonna just stir it all up and get it all incorporated and once that's mixed together we're just going to add our spaghetti squash go ahead and toss that in and then once that is in the bowl we're gonna go ahead and stir that up and mix everything all together and this is pretty much the pie now you could also add some onions or peppers or anything else that you'd like but this has loads of veggies in it and I think you're really gonna enjoy the flavor and it's so simple there it is so we're gonna put it in our 8x8 pan and we're just gonna spread it out nice and even nice and smooth and once it's smoothed out we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of our cheese on top and the rest of our pepperonis make sure you get them all you don't want to don't want to waste any of that good stuff a little bit more cheese and we're gonna put it into the oven so perfect oh but first we got to put our foil on it because we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 and we're gonna cook it about 25 minutes covered then we're gonna pull it out take that foil off and then we're gonna put it back in for another 15 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. And here it is, all done. And that is our beautiful hidden veggie spaghetti pie. I, I am sure you can get children to eat this and they will love it. This is a great intro recipe for spaghetti squash. And let me just show you one more thing. These are the dishes from both of these recipes. I love a recipe that's quick and easy, got veggies and easy cleanup too. So that's it. Now you have two great spaghetti squash recipes that you can use that will please your whole family and are super quick and super easy and delicious and everything you could ever want in recipes. So don't forget to check out Laura Lee's website and her batch cookie meal plans get your one month for free make sure you're taking advantage of that if you're interested jump in on that 25 percent off discount while it's still available and don't forget to check her out on facebook and instagram i hope you guys really enjoy spending time with laura lee and i just want to thank her once again for sponsoring this video i've actually really liked making her recipes and my family's liked it too rick really really appreciated these recipes and i if you really want to know which one was his favorite it was the garlic alfredo you want to give it a try. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. Come back and we will have more recipes and budget-friendly tips for you. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!